are and what you do for Green Dog. Hello, I am Dr. Candace Abao and I am a veterinarian at Green Dog. And what are we going to be talking about today? Oh, so today we will be talking about dental cleanings and advanced procedures. Wonderful. So let's start off with the first thing. Why does my pet need dental cleaning? So dogs and cats, just like humans, have teeth. And in the same manner, they accumulate plaque on their teeth. Now, plaque, since it's a biofilm of bacteria, it not only builds up tartar and calculus, it also allows for bacteria to get underneath the gum line and cause issues, periodontal disease. It's pretty important to make sure that we're able to remove the plaque so that we can prevent infection and treat infection for mild cases. So what is a green dog dental? So a green dog dental is our version of a, de a dental cleaning procedure. That involves a thorough physical exam. It involves a comprehensive oral exam with dental charting. And that also includes the dental scaling and polishing. Now, a dental cleaning procedure is not just a normal grooming routine. It is a preventative measure and for mild cases of periodontal diseases treatment. Not all patients, unfortunately, are a good candidate for the green dog dental. If we see loose teeth or broken teeth, any inflammation in the gums, if we see discolored teeth or any other abnormality in the mouth, we would then recommend what we call an AP or an advanced procedure. What is an advanced procedure? An advanced procedure is a sedated or anesthetized outpatient procedure. Why does my pet need to be sedated or anesthetized for an advanced procedure? So an advanced procedure includes dental radiographs. So for us to be able to take diagnostic images, we would need to sedate the patient or anesthetize the patient in order to take good full mouth dental radiographs. Why does my pet need the dental radiographs? Dental radiographs are important for us to diagnose um, and treat dental disease. It is the standard of care in veterinary dentistry. What's the difference then between an oral examination and the dental radiograph? So an oral examination is, I would say like an, an initial assessment. So it's a very subjective way of determining any abnormality in the mouth, normal versus abnormal. Whereas your dental radiographs, it goes underneath the gum line. You see more structures underneath the gum line. With your oral exam, you're limited to what you're seeing because it's just the crowns of the teeth and the gum tissue. With dental radiographs, you're not only seeing the crowns of the teeth, you're seeing the roots and the jawbone as well. Uh, do dental radiographs expose my pet to radiation? It does, but it's very minimal. And studies show that it's the same level as the sun's radiation. Are there any other requirements that I would need to know before bringing my pet in for an advanced procedure? Yes, um, we always require blood work, healthy blood work within you know, 60 days of the appointment, just to make sure that organ function is good, platelet count is normal, and just to make sure that the pet is healthy to undergo uh, a sedated procedure. How will I know if my pet needs any surgical procedure? So the whole process of the advanced procedure is you bring your pet in for the appointment, we do our physical exam, our oral exam, and then if everything looks great with the blood work as well, we put a catheter in, an IV catheter, and then we start the sedation, anesthesia, do the dental x-rays. After the dental x-rays, the veterinarian will interpret the x-rays, and we will come up with our treatment plan from the findings. We call the owners about the findings then. So we won't know for sure what is needed treatment-wise until we see the dental x-rays. So after the findings, after going over the findings with the owners, going over the treatment plan and the recommendations, we will only proceed with the recommendations if the owners approve it. So if owners are not comfortable with proceeding, just by doing the dental x-rays and the dental cleaning at that time, we've already done a lot for the pet. We've already found out what the problem is. We just need to find a way to treat the issue if there is one. 
there a long or hard recovery time for my pet after these advanced procedures? Recovery is usually quick after the procedure. The night of the procedure, since the pets will be sedated or, or have had anesthesia, they will be a little bit loopy, they're going to act a little bit drunk, but usually the next day they perk right back up. Um, they act normal, they eat. When it comes to patients that have gotten extractions, for example, or endodontics, let's say, if they had a root canal, we are going to be sending them home with the appropriate medications to keep them comfortable, but the next day you'll see that they will start eating. Walk me through exactly the full process of an advanced procedure if we agree to everything that the doctor recommends. Okay. During the day of the appointment, you will be asked to drop off your pet at around 8.30 to 9 o'clock, maybe 9.30, so early in the morning. So after we get the pet checked in, um, we do our physical exam, go over the blood work again, go through medical records and just review everything before we start sedating. Once uh, everything has been checked out, all the boxes have been checked out, then we start putting an IV catheter. After the IV catheter, we start sedating. After sedation or anesthesia, we take the dental x-rays. After the dental x-rays are taken, the doctors will go over and interpret those x-rays. And while we're interpreting those x-rays, a technician is working on starting the dental cleaning. And we usually would call it a pre-surgical dental cleaning, keeping in mind that there may be some form of treatment that is needed. After we get the whole treatment plan set up, the doctors will call the owners, and that's when we discuss what the findings are and what the treatment recommendations are. And once we get the approval, then we proceed as soon as we get off of the phone. Are there other requirements I would need for my pet before doing an advanced procedure? Yes. So first off, we require pre-screening blood work. And the reason why that is important is because we want to make sure that systemically the pet is apparently healthy. So what that means is kidney values are normal, liver values are normal, there's no anemia, platelet count is normal. Now with pets that have an undiagnosed heart condition or let's say a heart murmur, we typically would recommend chest x-rays or a cardiologist consult. Um, just to make sure that with sedation, again, that it's safe to undergo the procedure. If there are other underlying conditions or if there's abnormalities in the blood work, let's say, we would most of the time recommend that we treat that first before undergoing the advanced procedure.